Hi, Steve from Bicycles East. I want to quickly talk about the best way to put your bicycle inside your vehicle when you have to travel that way. Ideally, if you can put your bike on a car rack, that works best. It's better for your bike and for your car. Um, typically, there are strap-on racks that really work, or if you have a hitch receiver in the back of your vehicle, a hitch rack works great too. But sometimes you don't have a vehicle, or a vehicle you have won't accept that type of rack. If you're in that situation, then you may have to put the bike into the car. Best if you're doing that to put the seats down. I've already in this car, this Outback, I've got the seats laying flat down. This way I can just put the kickstand up, and I can lift up the bicycle and slide it into the car. The best and most important thing to remember is always put the gears pointing up. So you want the gears pointing up, you don't want to lean on these because then you can ruin your adjustments. So my suggestion is to pick up the rear of the bike, slide in the back of the bike first, get in front of it, and then you can typically push it right back in, roll it right back into the car. Once it's into the car, you've got it sitting in there, gears are pointing up, and you won't have any issues about losing adjustments. The nice thing about putting the rear wheel in first is that when you need to take it out, you can simply just grab the front of the bike, you can pull it along, take it right back out, and place it back on the ground. On some vehicles, such as a sedan, and you may be going into a trunk, usually those you can also drop and fold the seats down, but typically then you may have to remove the front wheel. If you have to remove the front wheel, you're not sure how to do that, refer to one of our other videos on talking about how to remove the front wheel. Thanks so much.